How's it run? Hi, buddy. Kabir. Oh, spoiled for choice. How's it, Ronaldo? Kitty, Chris. That's why I can't lose blood. Freaking earnings, bro. Yo. I suck so bad. So bad. Anybody, everybody watch the videos I put up today? Finally we're getting taken, we're getting some uh, um, recognition from the bigger companies which is only going to benefit everybody. Um, what, I'm, what I've decided to do is to not to have a big competition once a month so um, if we get two items or if we get more than two of one item uh, one item will go into the month a month in draw away and one item will get given away um, um, with the comment section below you know after the bit after the review so I'm gonna do these little reviews like I did today and give away obviously if there's one i'll give that only away but if there's anything left over what i'll do is i'll put it into the into a big prize pool so one person's going to walk away with one or two people or three people depending on how many how many it is will walk away with some tanks as well not only juices which is going to be a bonus oh let's check who's here yeah but 22 people on very quickly muhammad Let's see, anybody I don't recognize? Everybody I rec seem to recognize. I don't have picture. Uh, should have picture. Now Martin, you didn't read the rules, but if you drop down on the video, uh, I'll only give it away once we get 150 likes. I've got to build up, the more I can build up um, subscribers, um, and uh, likes to videos, the bigger bread of prizes that I've got. So I'm going to be putting a tally on to the amount of views once we've got, and it obviously I've tagged it for international viewing as well, so that they will help. But uh, the more you share it, the video, and the more people that like it, uh, the there's 150 per, per video. So if once I've got 150 views per video, uh, um, then I'll give it away uh, to a random person who's commented. Um, if you haven't, just go look at the comment section below if you open up the video um, under the video there's information so if you go open the video let me just check it out quickly just to make sure that it is there I'm almost positive that it was there but if you open up the video and you'll see the uh, published on it works oh, oh, nice. uh, what's going on? Um, and it, underneath it will show you what the rules are of the competition so yeah, I just need to go read those rules uh, of the competition and how it works and stuff like that and then who's ever eligible I'll do a random draw and then we'll we'll give the stuff away I have to say uh, out of the two devices I've obviously I've only just got them so I haven't been playing a hell of a lot with them but out of the two devices my favorite is the serpent without, a, without uh, any uh, thought whatsoever. The flavor on this thing is really, really, really good. Mm. With the small tanks, they do drink, uh, they do go through juice quite a bit. This is the second, third time I'm filling it already since I did the, the, the view of the, of the, um, well, the video, I posted the video. Yeah, but it's, it's lovely, 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 lovely. Uh, and I also think that um, the... Um, oh man, I keep on forgetting what it's called. It's really bad. Eh? I'm, my mind is... They vape, Vaporous, Vaporous, Vaporous RDA. I think if you've got some... If you're quite clever with coils, you can put some really good um, um, builds in there. Um, I'll still mess around with it a little bit and see what builds I can put in there. Oh, 
Mm. I'm vaping on a yet to be released juice that comes from the cosmic drops. It's not in the cosmic drops range, but it's it's the same guys who make cosmic drops. I've just got that stick on the unreleased juice. Mm -hmm. Loving it, loving it. Yeah, they both got Ultim tips, eh? The, oh, the tip on this, I actually didn't measure it. I've got a vernier here tonight. Holy crap. That can't be right. The outer diameter, the outer diameter on the Ultim tip on the Vaporous RDA. Yes, I need glasses as well is 18 millimeters that's the outer diameter inner diameter is 12 and a half yo it's big a goon tip a goon's inner diameter because that's the most important thing. The goon's inner diameter is eight. This one, it was 12. The inner diameter of the, the uh, vapor, vap, vaporous RDA, is inner diameter is 12 millimeters. So that is a massive drip tip, a massive drip tip. Uh, where did I put that in the drip tip? Where did I put my... Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Oh, blow vapor, great, bro vapor. Yeah, I was going to say now, um... In there. Uh, I put on the um, in the ser serpent uh, SMM. I've got. I've just got to put a straightforward nichrome build in there. Um, it's just that with the. Let me just get to see if I got a picture of it. I think I got a picture of it. Uh, that's the answer. Here's a picture. I'm just activate the whiteboard. The the bonus is here is that no matter how this this is wide. Eh? This the gap here between between the two decks. Is quite wide, so you can go. Uh, I quite easily fit it in a four millimeter ID in there. You could go 4.5 millimeter there quite easily. What I want to mess around with is I want to put two coils in here, but I want to put uh, one a stack coil. So if you're looking here, you've got one. If he has your posts here, I want to put and there's your little post holes there. Uh, I want to put one, one coil that goes along here. And I want to put one coil that goes along there, but attaches to each side of the deck. So you've got these two, almost like two millimeter, like two millimeter, two and a half millimeter, put a double coil in. I'm going to try that to see that. But the, the serpent, um, um, the serpent's deck is lovely to work on. If you're new to vaping, uh, uh, even at the beginner, intermediate, advanced, this tank will suit you down to the T. Um, as I said, the, probably the only downfall is the size of the actual physical tank. Um, uh, um, and it's a little bit noisy. But the flavor is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, that's a Minikin V1.5. Yeah, it's, it's the one before the boost. I think I can show you this whole thing. Let me see if I can drain this liquid out of it. I'd have to vape a little bit of juice out of here first before I show you too. Any questions? Oh, I'm gonna get freaking light-headed. Sucking on this juice to drop, drop it down. On the, um, 
I just put two little aliens in there from uh, uh, from Bubble Wraps, which is a local Durban guy making coils. Let me just try and get it closer. Uh, I don't think it's going to zoom in. I put two little aliens in there, and it rocks. Yeah, so this, but the the the, the as I said, the only downfall on the the um, uh, RDA is the fact that. Um, you don't have a really deep, deep juice well but if, if you're using the bottom feed function it obviously will help um, but they are they've done that purely because of the way the decks decks laid out you know if you look here wait the wrong picture you see it's not very deep and it's it's uh, let me just clear this quickly refresh it's not very deep if you had a look at it and compared to o-rings it's only probably that deep compared to the whole deck that's how deep it is but because of having this long um, posts to be able to get the coils into the bottom here they've had to sacrifice somewhere and the only place they could sacrifice was the deck here um, but yeah you can put goon there's the goon style deck which obviously are these here and then this is just your traditional style but these holes are really big i didn't measure the holes but the holes are really 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 big and um, you can fit some monster coils through those holes um, which is lacquer, which is nice. I only use Nichrome 80 or um, uh, I, oh, yeah, I think I only use Nichrome 80. That's the, only, that's the only stuff that I'm using. Everything that is coils that I've got in are either plain Nichrome 80 or fancy coils Nichrome 80. Ruin, now you ask, is it easy to build? Which one is easy to build? Is it the serpent you're asking a question about or is it the, the RDA? Um, the version, there's quite a few good um, uh, RDTAs out at the moment. Eh? Um, if you're looking for flavor, if you're a flavor junkie, then I'm going to go for something like a Alpine or a Merlin or if you're looking single coil then there's a Serpent 22 uh, if you're going for, for vapor um, and um, uh, uh, flavor I'd probably go for an iJoy um, uh, iJoy 5 I think it's called I'd probably go for one of those if you're looking for both flavor then those three that I mentioned or then it's just uh, vapor production along with it uh, is the iJoy 5 eh? Oh yeah, uh, the serpent is so so easy to build, you know. Um, uh, it, it, I'm not joking. It literally took me probably thirty seconds to wind my coil, and probably another thirty seconds to install it, and another thirty seconds to do the wicking. That's how long it took me, because um, it's wicking for dummies. You use the bow tie method, like my other videos that show you on YouTube, uh, and it's literally pull a cotton through, cut it off to the bottom of the deck, bow tie it, shove it in the holes, and it's done. That's a simple, easy, I have not had an, a drop of, of liquid um, seep through yet at all. Um, I've had no dry hits. Um, I've got, uh, it's, it's 0.6 odd ohms, and I'm only vaping at 30 watts, uh, and you can, see, you can see what this is doing at 30 watts. This is looking at the cloud competition that we had in the shop the other day. That that would blow bigger clouds than some of the guys were blowing with the the RDAs. Yeah, Perseus is also good, eh? Perseus is also good uh, um, uh, uh, RDTA. Eh? There's so many good choices. You know, what I mean, it's it's really hard to advise people. It comes down to uh, aesthetics for most people, eh?
Yo, it's taking me a long time, but I'm trying to get through this juice so I can show you what the coils, the coils look like there. But uh, it's taking me forever. Mm. Well, I've got some good news there. Um, we, for those of you who don't know, um, uh, we've got a uh, guy who helps us with our social media and he's uh, present. His name's Oms, Oms Raw, Daniel. Uh, he's also a reviewer. He's, uh, he's not a, a live reviewer like this. He does reviews on reviews and that on Instagram and other social media channels. And uh, he was able to organize us a smock tea proof kit which we are going to be giving away to one lucky viewer on Wednesday night. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, oh, no, wait, I'll leave that. I'll leave that. Uh, this we're going to be giving this away to one lucky viewer on, um, uh, on Wednesday night on our live feed. So you must make sure that you're tuned in for this because this is uh, obviously also a, a big prize. Uh, just a big thanks to Ohms Raw. He is here in the the somewhere around oh, I did see him there Nana uh, uh, so thank you to him uh, and to Smock for, 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 for organizing this prize for us to give away on Wednesday night yeah any questions regarding the serpent or the the Vaporos Core Beans Peter No, Charles the Dominican does not have Canthal TC. Um, I, I think I'm trying to think of the devices that do have it, and I can't think of any off the top of my head uh, that do have the Canthal uh, TC mode. But in all honesty, temperature, temperature sensing, all my mods can do temperature sensing. I very, 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 very seldom use it. Uh, I like a dense warm vape, so temperature sensing just goes out the window as soon as you like a dense. Um, uh, um, warm vape. Ruin rating for the RDA Ingenuity. I'd probably give it a a nine. Um, flavor. I'd probably give it an eight. Vapor production. I'd probably give it eight point five. Um, Overall, I'd probably give it an 8.5. Um, the you know, the, although the drip tip is, I, and I can enjoy the fact that you can put different coils in there, and I enjoy the drip tip. Is that uh, you know, I, I, I rate everything based on on an icon because I'm a, I am a flavor flavor junkie at the end of the day. So I rate most things on flavor. And just remember, these are my opinions. They're not opinions. Other other reviewers might have a different opinion, but my mine is based on flavor. Everything is mine is based on flavor, and then vapor. Um, it's not an icon, not an icon by any means. Um, it's got a nice restrictive draw on it, which is also which a lot of people do like, um, you know. Um, but it's got other things going for it. It's got the the factors is that you can put way different coil structures in there, or the way the deck's designed. It's got this massive um, uh, Altum tip, which is, I, I love it. Um, you know, it looks sexy as well. Um, and it's a reasonably, it'll, I'm assuming that it'll be a reasonably big past RDA when it comes into the, into the, into the country. Uh, zero, you ask if the Serpent's available on the site yet. Uh, I have not yet even seen a international um, reviewer do a review on it as yet. Uh, so I'm going to make the assumption that we are one of the first peoples in the people in the world to have them. Uh, they are not available uh, in on any site that I can find for purchase as yet. So neither of these products. They were sent to us by Watofo for review. And obviously, with our what we promised you is that anything we get for review, we'll give back to the community. You know, we don't want, we don't necessarily need to keep these. When we eventually get them in stock, if I like it, I'll keep on. But it's all about giving to the community. Um, and so, yeah, we will just donate these uh, via a competition. 
um, to boost our, not only um, our pages but other people involved like Witofo, uh, like Smock, like Ohms Raw um, and give everything away, you know what I mean? That's the, that's the best way to do it, eh? Khabib, no we don't stock the Abbott Life. Ronaldo, um, yeah, I think I actually answered that question already. Uh, I'm a flavor junkie. Uh, I'm not too interested in the in, in vapor production. I still think an icon is better. Um, but as I said, I've only just got this. I'm giving you my my first impression of it, and you know, it can change totally with trying trying different coils, and then I will try different coils. In um, yeah. Oh man. It was actually quite exciting today. Um, when I say quite exciting, you know, we, we you, you can obviously see that we try hard to um, uh, to keep our customers happy and we try hard to uh, give you as much information so you can make informed decisions and stuff like that. And obviously a byproduct of having uh, uh, social being active on social media and having YouTube channels and stuff like that as you do get um, sp well, I don't know if that's the right word sponsorship or reviewing or whatever obviously we don't need sponsorship because we get the products in any of the day um, but to be able to get stuff before anybody else does to review it um, it was it was quite it was it was you know for me it's hard because we get so much stock and we get so many items but when something comes that nobody else has got yet, uh, it was quite a, quite exciting to open my little box of presents today to see what, we, what we've what we been sent to the, for us to review. It was really interesting. It was really nice. Nice. It was like a little little birthday party I had in the shop. <laughs> Only Coke run. Uh, Justin asked, how's the Predator squonker you had the other day? Look, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely little squonker. Um, you, you have to remember that, guys, it is a 3D printed squonker. So, you know, if anybody has ever dealt with 3D printing, you must know that it's never ever 100% perfect. Okay. Um, uh, we have just, we decided to order a batch of them to try them out to see what they're like. Um, uh, and uh, they've come in, they are, or they, they've landed in South Africa, they haven't, aren't in our shop as yet. Uh, we obviously got one as a, a little, like a, a demo model, if you want to put it that way. Um, it's an 80 watt device. Uh, it, it hits actually fairly hard for, an, uh, for a, I, I don't quite know the chip that's in this. That's not a chip that I know. It's, I think it's an in-house chip that they've got. It hits fairly hard, I have to say. The build quality, is average build quality the look is very nice because of that green and the black and the predator on it and stuff like that. it looks really really nice and you know as i said squonking is coming back in a big way uh, i don't know what they're going to be priced at to be honest with you um uh, we're waiting for customs to 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 release the stuff and then get our our uh, what it's going to cost in cost in, in duties and stuff and then we'll put it up on the website but i think that they're going to go quite quickly because they're different you know what i mean <laughs> Always coke, but yeah, that's uh, we are firm believers we pay it forward, eh? and then what we we expect the same from our customers. You know what I mean? If you find a, come across a guy who's who's um, who's battling, and you've got spare juice, help that out. If you've yeah, you know the whole story. I don't have to go through that. Uh, pay it forward. It's the best way to do it. Ruin. That's a hot to debate. Is a clone good or bad, or is it or is original better? Um, the bulk of stuff gets made in China these days, and even the originals get made in China some days. You know, and and uh, I'm still a firm believer that most of the originals out or come off the same production line as some of the clones, and just they go off in two different pathways. One goes for the the 
uh, into the original packaging and the other one goes into the clone packaging. You know, I've had clones of devices where I've had the original and the clone has outperformed the original. Um, I have not, there's a rumor going around and I don't know what tank it is to be honest with you. Um, I've got a funny feeling, no I don't know, I can't remember what tank it is. But it's a high-end tank that there's a clone being produced um, of this high, I don't know what the name of the tank is, I, 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 I'll try and look it up. Um, that there's a clone being produced of this high-end tank and that the people who own the high-end tank are using the clone deck um, uh, um, because the clone deck is actually better than the original deck. So yeah, um, yeah, clones, yeah, it's, it all depends on where the clone comes from. There are, there are companies out there in China that they their clones, they put as much time and effort into their clones as they do into original products. So yeah. Best bang for buck, RDT, in your opinion? It all depends on all depends on, on what you're looking for. Um, uh, best bang for buck would probably be an iJoy 5. Getting best of both worlds, vapor production and flavor is good as well. That's probably there. Kylan versus Serpent SMM. Two totally different, two totally different um uh, uh, vaping experiences um yeah two totally different day eh? um yeah yeah i can't actually answer that it's it's i think that the 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 serpent's going to be best suited for the mellowy type of vapor although it can be cranked up it's going to be more suited for the for the mellowed type of vapor you know um Obviously, also, if you, you're putting single coil in there, your ohms, you're going to have a higher ohm depending on what coil you put in there, which means you're going to extend your battery life as well. That's it, Emil. Emil, I, I couldn't remember which it was. Um, the Skyline is what's been cloned. And there's guys using the, uh, that prefer the clone deck to the original deck. So that says something. Now, SXK makes some really good clones. Um, well, there's one. That's an SXK clone right there. And the only way you would tell on the DNA version that this is a clone. Yeah. Is the size of the screen. That's the only way you would tell because this has got the DNA 40, the other one comes with the DNA 60. That's the only way you would tell the difference between the two. But with the cover on, you would never tell the difference at all. Is that all the juices you have used in the back? I'm assuming you're saying background. Eduardo, that's actually a photograph of our shop which has been blown up onto a banner, uh, which we used at last year's um, um, VapeCon. It's actually a, a banner backdrop. Serious, Emil? Emil says they have both at home and the build quality is better on the clone. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Um, I won't, I won't get into it more because I'll get, I'll just get into more trouble. I'll get into more trouble. Martin, they, uh, they're very hard to actually, they, they're not as hard to get as the originals, but they're also very hard because there's such a high demand for the clone um, that we are trying, trying, trying um, uh, to get them. Um, yeah, uh, if we can, we will. If we can't, we won't be able to get put.
Uh, Mohammed asked thoughts on the Drugger uh, RDA. It's still one of my favorite uh, RDAs. Um, uh, probably the only thing that beats my beats my Drugger is my Elite from um, uh, Armageddon, which is a 28.5 millimeter uh, um, RDA. It's probably the only thing that beats my Drugger. Drugger is just, with those post decks. It's you can put some serious coils in there. This thing here is still a machine though. Yeah, my baby. Yeah, that's that's my that's my 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 baby. Dinesh, you're more than welcome to drop it off as long as it's not a um, something that's already on the shelves. Um, you know, if it's an if it's a, a strawberry cream, a, a custard, a another grape candy or a whatever then rather don't because yeah we've tasted them all unless it's something different don't please don't take offense to that unless it's something different we're really not interested in in in, in juices because we're trying to find something that's different if it's a different cool beans if not yeah just checking that you see that problem yeah um yeah <laughs> oh yes yeah yeah justin uh, hugo's constantly looking at things i know he's been freaking he's been breaking the bank recently uh ordering stuff um yeah um but i know there's a lot of good things he's organizing a lot of really nice things uh, i just can't allude to them just as yet well not only that I, I don't even know what he's ordering but i know that he i know that he's he's been ordering a hell of a lot of new things that um uh, are out in the marketplace or will, will be launched soon but yeah that we haven't got them as yet Yeah, a bra is my a, a, a bra is a, 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 a resident coil builder. I call him Mini Me, um, and he says, "Yeah, Hugo is a thousand years ahead of us." I can say to him, hey, "Hugo, have you seen that?" He says, oh, "It's already ordered." Hugo, have you seen that? No, it's already ordered. <laughs> we can we come up with or find all these fancy things. No, it's already ordered. No, it's already ordered. So no, Hugo's Hugo's on top of his game, man. Eh? US one Etty. You're talking about that. That's a US one Etty. Looks any good, any good clean. Uh, Martin, I don't quite, I don't quite like the built-in Etty type of setup. Uh, sorry, built-in uh, um, in battery. Uh, it's purely because if something goes wrong with those batteries. Um, um, you know, to open up those things and get the lipos out and stuff like that. Yeah, not, 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 not a, I'm not a big lover of built-in batteries, to be honest with you. Oh, that juice smells good. Yeah, need to go and clean that one. It looks. Oh. That was naughty. I spilt all over the place. My wife is going to get very upset with me. Funny enough, Jane, um, I had actually had a customer of ours coming from Maritzburg the other day, and he had a rhubarb um, juice. It wasn't a rhubarb custard, but it was a rhubarb, and uh, like mm -hmm, until you vaped, it was actually very nice. Funny enough, yeah, there is rhubarb available. Yeah, 
but it's not in print. It's not a, a produced juice. It was a it was a DIY, a DIY juice. Let's see how many views those other videos have had yet. Hundred and four and hundred and twenty views. I don't see how many likes there are. Yeah, you need to get those. Need to get your fingers working. It's gonna to need to give lots more likes. Now, uh, when Americans wake up, they'll because no one else has. Good evening, folks. No one else has done a review on them yet. So, hopefully, when America comes wakes up in the morning, they'll hit like. Hopefully, although I might get some, I might get some fun thumbs down because they don't like it when I say they're only eligible for South Africans. Yeah. Uh, Glenn, I think you would like it, eh, buddy? Uh, obviously, it's not available in South Africa yet. We've got test samples. But, uh, um, yeah, for your, for you, and for how you need things easy to wick, um, uh, with those shaky hands of yours, uh, I think it will be definitely a, a tank to, for you to consider, eh, Glenn? Couldn't share the pancakes. Hey, no, bro, I don't share my, my, my daughter's pancakes. Yeah, my daughter my daughter is going to uh, Thailand for uh, she's um, doing the world challenge which is they take uh, schools to third world countries and they go and have to survive in a third world country and she's the second one she's done the first one was in in Vietnam and now they're going to Thailand so she's been frantically learning how to make Thai food because she you know she's a cook as well and uh, other night she made us a lovely um, Thai dinner and then uh, well, the pancakes were in Thai but we had some lack of pancakes. <laughs> what rhubarb is. Um, the, the, the Americans have a uh, they have a rhubarb pa. Um, uh, you also if I can remember correctly there was actually a cold drink that was rhubarb as well. Um, it was an American thing as well. Yeah. Chris, uh, all you need to do is speak to Haywire um, uh, on his go message him on his Facebook page. He does supply wholesale uh, spools of wire, uh, but he only does nichrome. So yeah, uh, he has got all the gauges, and if he doesn't have a gauge that you're looking for, he will help you find it. Um, yeah, um, he's probably your best bet to, to ask, um, yeah. <laughs> Survival, just let the kids enjoy the movie. Yeah, I'm trying to vape this juice down so I can show you my coil. Oh no, puppy. Nah, it's still too full. Still too full. What I'll do is I'll do a little tutorial on, on how to, to, to do the coil so that when they eventually arrive, you'll all be ready to uh, coil how to how to to put the coils in and how to do the wicking like, like superstars. You won't have any any, any problems. I'm almost positive that there was a thing called a rhubarb pa. Let me get a picture. Rhubarb pa. Yeah, it's like an apple pa. Oh, sorry, it's not in the USA. It's popular in the United Kingdom. Rhubarb looks like celery. Actually, it looks quite, looks quite nummies. Yeah, here's a challenge. Somebody come up with a rhubarb par juice. I'll put a picture up on the 
is totally not vaping. Well, I suppose it is vapor, vaping related. Uh, let me find this picture now. That's what rhubarb pie looks like. Someone come up with a rhubarb pie. E juice. Oh, sorry about hiccups. Yeah, different. Yeah, Justin, um, uh, I'm waiting. There's evidently a program that I can get for a DSLR camera, but I've lost my bloody small HDMI cable. So I'm going to take it or get try and use a uh, DSLR camera, um, uh, which and take off autofocus, and hopefully that works. Eh? Most, my most, my, not necessarily my favorite, but my most commonly used one uh, is a straight three and a half millimeter, 24 gauge Nichrome, um, seven wrap uh, on a 3.5 millimeter, uh, either 24 gauge or 22 gauge Nichrome. That's probably my most used coils that I use, dual coils. Charles, it's very, very hard to get uh, different colored doors for a Minikin. Uh, I know that on Fastic, I heard, I think it was, I heard on Fastic that they were selling uh, clone doors, different color clone doors. You might try there. It's because I'm British. Cheers, Navishan. <laughs> Just remember guys, um, on Wednesday night, we're going to be giving this away, okay, um, which is the Smock T-Proof Kit, kindly donated by Ohms Raw and Smock. Ohms Raw is a local Instagram, um, I'll use the word sensation, uh, he gets, he's got some of the top um, uh, companies in the world follow him on Instagram, vaping companies in the world follow him on Instagram and he kindly donated this with Smock for us to do a giveaway um, so don't forget Wednesday night got to be there to, to have a chance to win it eh? Enduro, you're going Internal or external nose surgery. External nose surgery it wouldn't be a problem. Internal nose surgery, I would stay off vape for probably three, four weeks. Eh? Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad Basa. <laughs> Caught you there, eh, Muhammad? Yeah, in Jura, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't vape after surgery. I'm not saying that it's bad for you, but uh, yeah, I rather, rather don't, eh? Because uh, you're gonna have um, uh, what's that stuff called? You're gonna have vapor coming out of your nose and stuff like that. Yeah, I'd rather stay away from it, eh? Muhammad, you didn't think I could speak Slamo, eh? Ah. Ah. Oh, on vape, this freaking tank down so I can oh, show you the coil. I don't want to spill any juice. And I'm not, I don't like wasting juice, so I'm going to leave it. I'll, I'll do a video on it in the store, in store tomorrow and then post it on, on what the deck looks like. Yeah, those Fantasia juices are nice, except they're coil killers, eh? Yeah, those things, char coils, eh? Char coils really badly. Um, what does I hear about the Sky Clone? Yeah, Sky Clone is a ripoff, is a knockoff of the, of the, of the Skyline. And uh, some of the Skyline owners are using the Sky Clone deck because it's better than the original, yeah. 
oh, and also sorry, just some feedback on this um, um, uh, Pulse RDA. My squonking heaven. Um, I finally settled on a on a. Um, it's going to sound really weird, but it's I I only put one juice in in a in a um, um, squonker, uh, and that's my VCT. Okay, from Ripe Vapes, it's a vanilla caramel tobacco. And I finally settled on the perfect build for me in my pulse, um, which was actually a, a nine wrap um, flat wire, which is Haywire's flat wire, um, 22 gauge uh, on a three millimeter ID. And oh man, loving this, loving this pulse. I just wish that they would have moved the airflow slightly lower because I think it could have got so much more flavor out of this thing if those airflows were lower. Oh, I love my VCT. Shiraz, I don't even know, but as I said, we were we were sent them for review by by um, Watofo. Uh, our orders are already in, but then they're not ready to be released to the public as yet. Yeah, but guaranteed we'll get them as quickly as we can get them. Uh, Jane um, uh, asked the question: How often do I reweek daily? Every few days? It all depends on what I'm using. If I'm using a dripper, I tend to reweek daily. If I'm using a um, RTA, I tend to wick every second day. If I'm using an RDTA, I'll push it to probably three days. I just don't like wicking an RDTA, it's too much PT. Um, um, it also comes down to what juice I'm using. You know, If I'm using a juice that is prone to gunking up coils, I'll obviously rewick re um, uh, more often. Uh, if I'm using um, menthols, you can the coil in here and the wick in here is probably a week old, and I've but I've, and I've got a um, an experimental juice from Wiener Vape in here, um, uh, which uh, yeah well, I can't actually allude to it, but yeah it's been in here for a week and it's still fine. Ronaldo, uh, the difference between flat and round wire. I just find that the flat wire gives me better flavor than the round wire. I think it's because of surface area. Um, I think that's really it. You know, uh, it's it's really marginal, um, uh, the flavor difference um, between the flat and the round, but I can pick it up the difference. I prefer flat over round. That's me. Uh, some people are different, huh? Icon or Pulse, it, yeah, it's, it's really, Icon has still got the best flavor out there without, without uh, even thinking twice, the Icon has got the best flavor that I've ever experienced in a dripper, followed very closely by the recoil. Some people, some, I've got customers, regular customers that say the recoil is better, but that's their opinion. My opinion is the Icon has got the best flavor. Um, Pulse, Pulse's flavor is right up there, but it's not an Icon flavor. Um, but the the, the uh, um, I think that the the pulse could have been better if they had dropped that airflow, if they dropped those two channels that channel down slightly lower. I think if it was lower and there was more air able to get underneath the coil instead of bouncing off the top and then going straight up, uh, I, I think it would have beat the beat the arc on hands down uh, with flavour. Uh, uh, Sagrin asks, "How's VCT on coils?" Yeah, it, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't char coils at all. Eh? Um, uh, this this cotton and ah, we don't want to take it off. I can't get it off. That cotton in there is three days old. 
and it's still fine, that coil is still fine. Yeah, VCT. Don't, don't get me started about VCT. Yeah, Louis, we, uh, it's, it's, it's what you need to do with a channel is you actually need to hit on, the, on my channel. There's a little bell button. If you hit a little bell button, uh, and you've got a YouTube channel that will send you, it will tell you when we're going live. Um, uh, it is, an, uh, it's a Wednesday night is a definite, but there are nights that I will do a live feed just for, for fun. Or when I've got something that I'm excited to show you about, I will do a live feed. Uh, but the big one is normally Wednesday. Uh, it's not, uh, yeah, vaping brew, it's not filing the air flows down. Uh, let me find see if I can find a photograph of it. I'll show you what I mean. Um, this photograph probably best best describes it. Uh, yeah, what I mean with the pulse. If you look at this, uh, if you look at this picture of the pulse here, if you see, oh man. If you see how the airflow, uh, let me just clear this here. If you see how this airflow comes in here, okay. Now, if you if you got any indication of, of, of how air moves, you are sucking air out here. Now, what happens is the air comes in here, even if you take it through the middle, okay, it then shoots up. You are sucking in. So you're causing a vacuum which then takes the air and pulls it straight up. So only this part of the coil is giving you flavor. Now if this airflow was lower and it came in underneath the coil, you would then have around the entire coil. It would then go around the coil and up, around the coil and up. So I think that's where they that's where they made the, the downfall. Although it's a brilliant, brilliant, don't get me wrong, it is a brilliant design. I think they, that's the flaw that they had. You know, that, that's my opinion. Hmm. Nah, the vertical coil wouldn't work. It wouldn't. It wouldn't saturate fast enough on the vertical coil. Um, um, yeah, it wouldn't saturate properly. If they came down like four mils, it would be absolute, absolute, absolute awesome. Oh. If any of you are triple X lovers, like I, I enjoy my triple X, I really do. And I can thank Rob Fisher for putting me onto it because I never was a mental person, to be honest with you. But I've got always got triple X in a tank somewhere. And um, uh, obviously the, the way I learned how to use, or the way I first started using triple X was in a Serpent 22. That was the first time I ever tested it. And that's how I got Rob Fisher onto the serpents, and he still swears by his serpents. Um, so I was so keen to get this to try triple X on it to see it, and whoa, oh, oh, this triple X in here in this uh, serpent SMM, oh, 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 absolutely divine. Avnish asks Craig, when are you designing an RDA? My answer is who's to say I'm not. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. <laughs> you must know us, we're always on top of our game. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll leave it there. 
yeah, Martin, look, I, you know, we, uh, somebody is going to win it. As soon as we get to the view, somebody's going to win it. Uh, as long as uh, the rules are, uh, the rules, if you look underneath the video, it shows you information, and there are the rules, you know. Uh, you've got to comment on the video below uh, on those two videos, not this video, on the two videos that I've posted. I'll do a random, random uh, draw thing, and uh, whoever wins it will get will get one. And then the, the second one, because obviously I've got two of each, the second one, what we'll do is all the extras that we've got, I'll put into one big prize and we'll give it away once a month. We'll have a nice, a nice draw and give away a whole lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Um, unless, um, yeah, that, that'll do that, Joe. That's the easiest way. Mateus, I don't know when it will um, be in stock. Um, I don't know when they will actually be in stock. We just was to send them for review purposes, um, but uh, we normally get things first. So I don't think it'll be too far away. Huh? Uh, Endura asks, how will the winner be contacted? When we do the random draw, um, uh, we will contact the person through Facebook or on YouTube or whatever, make a comment on his comment. We'll, we'll try every avenue to get hold of you. Uh, Vickers, no, we're not going to bring the SX Mini G Class in. Uh, there's already stuff there, really working on new things, you know what I mean? Uh, we, and we're also not going to bring in something that someone else is already selling, you know what I mean? Give up with this fucking camera seriously who knows where i can buy a mini hdmr cable or who has in durban a mini hdmr to usb cable this is what i'm looking for Where are you now? I can't even find one, find one. Oh, I need one of those things to connect up a DSLR camera. Okay guys, um, we're coming close to the, the, um, the hour mark, uh, trying to keep them short and sweet. Um, uh, yeah, you're fine. I'll try them. I'll try it tomorrow. Um, any questions that you want me to answer quickly on the Skyline? Um, Skyline, fuck. Serpent SMM or the Vaporos um, uh, RDA. Now, give me a couple questions and then we'll call it quits for tonight. But don't forget, Wednesday night, we're giving this puppy away um, uh, to some lucky subscriber. It's going to be on the same thing, likes on the video, um, and um, um, we'll do a random draw for it. <laughs> yeah, let's try that uh, vaping brew. Um, yeah, he, he, yeah, um, he wouldn't tell the difference. Best build for an Icon RDA, straightforward three and a, three and a half millimeter, uh, 24 gauge flat wire, um, seven wraps, dual coil. That's my, that's my go-to for that. Yeah, okay. Etienne, find out where my tabat is so I can organize one, please. Pleasure, Kishan. <laughs> Ronaldo, the draw only gets happened when we hit 150 views. Go on to the videos. At the bottom of the video, you will see info page. Click on the info page. The rules of the competition are there. Follow the rules of the competition and make a comment on the videos. 
and then as soon as we've reached the views and you've done the parts of the competition then we'll give away the stuff um yeah okay guys nice to see you guys again thank you very much for watching please like subscribe share do everything that you want for the competition and um uh, we'll, I hope, I hope we, hopefully we can give these things away tomorrow as soon as we hit 150, 150 likes um, on the video, guys. But thank you very much for everything. Cool, guys. Don't forget Wednesday.